Hello, family and friends of Seward United Methodist Church. This is Reverend Mary Kay. I'm taping this on January 19th for the January 20th midweek devotion. I'm a little anxious about the inauguration tomorrow and hope to goodness everything goes smoothly and that there is no violence. I'm sure that is your prayer as well. Here at Seward United Methodist Church, there's lots going on. We are having in-person worship. We're about to start Zoom Sunday School for children of all ages. We're making plans for Lent. And if you've not yet received it, watch your mail for the update from the Building Improvement Committee. Building Improvement Committee has been meeting weekly since September and in that time have updated the master plan and thought through what the possibility for a building project might be. We've worked with a wonderful architect and we, we have a schematic kind of the early stage design possibility of what a building project could be that would bring us new modern restrooms close to the sanctuary, a covered drop off, parking on the south side. And so we want to share that information with you. You will find some information in the letter and in the letter will also be a listing of information sessions where we will share this idea with you and get your feedback and see if this is something we as a congregation wish to pursue or not. It's an idea, it's a dream. And we hope that you will show up at one of the information sessions and share with us your thoughts and whether you like this dream or not. So we look forward to hearing from you. As we approach tomorrow, a friend shared this prayer from the Northumbria community that I thought spoke powerfully to this time. It's a prayer about who we are called to be in this time how we can be faithful followers of Jesus. Let us pray. Go peaceful in gentleness through the violence of these days. Give freely, show tenderness in all your ways. Through darkness and troubled times, let holiness be your aim. Seek wisdom let faithfulness burn like a flame. God speed you, God lead you, and keep you wrapped around God's heart. May you be known by love. Be righteous, speak truthfully in a world of greed and lies, show kindness, see everyone through heaven's eyes. God hold you, enfold you, and keep you wrapped around God's heart. May you be known by love. Amen. Y'all have a good week. Hope to see you at one of these information sessions in the next couple of weeks. God bless.